welcome to Astrologic Astrology, the astrology of I am. My name is Lorenzo Sanford. I am the host on this new channel, and we're excited to be able to share all things astrology with you. We are doing this work to be a part of the advancement of humanity. And I know you've heard a lot about the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, the great conjunction. And we are starting this series under this great auspicious energy. And we're gonna talk a lot about that. But first, before we go into all the details about astrology, I just wanna tell you a little bit about who I am. I am a professional astrologer. I've been studying astrology for all of my adult life. Um, I had my first astrology reading as a 16-year-old. Believe it or not, my mother was going to get an astrology reading, and she took me along with her and allowed me to have one as well. And the astrologer, a, a mysterious-looking older lady uh, in a nice little beach cottage, in California told me some very um, amazing things. And I couldn't quite understand how she was able to look at symbols on a page and then tell me these amazing things. And it sent me on a search and I've started studying and I've never stopped. It's been fascinating. And I'm sure you're here too because you are fascinated by astrology and the things that you've seen and or heard from um, either astrologers or people who represent astrology in the media. And so we're all in this journey together, exploring, understanding, sharing all things astrology. The name of our channel and my service is Astrologic because I want to be clear that this is not something that's based in feeling or or something emotional or something um, ephemeral. It's based in something that has science behind it because astrology is part science and also an art. The science is based in the fact that we can track the movements of the planets and stars and we know where they're going to be at any given time so that we can plot their course and know what positions they're going to be in. And that's not anything that is subjective. It's very objective. Anyone can either track it or have it tracked for them. The art of astrology is in the ability to interpret what the planets are saying. And it's based in an ancient principle. And the principle is simply this. What happens above also happens below. As above, so below. Now there's another part to this equation that often gets left out and I'd like to offer it to you so that you can have a full picture of the symbolism that we're dealing with. In addition to as above, so below, the second half of the equation is the within is as the without. The within is as the without, so that whatever's happening inter internally is also reflected in the outside. So those two principles together are what astrology is based on. The correspondence between what's happening in the universe around us and how it affects us collectively and personally. So. With that understanding, I'd like to just say one more thing that I think we should discuss and get it out of the way up front. No, astrology is not evil or anything negative. It comes to us from the Creator. Whatever you give uh, the name that you give to the Creator, it comes from that source. And I like to particularly let my Christian friends and family know that it's also rooted in the Bible. And the most obvious reference from the Bible comes from 
the story of the three wise men who did what? They followed a star to pinpoint the birth of the Savior or the Christ. And also, I just want to say that oftentimes Christians are making references to astrology and they don't even realize it. One potent example is in the Lord's Prayer where it says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Um, give us this day our daily bread. Um, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. In earth as it is in heaven. So even in something as common as the Lord's Prayer, there is this reference to the correspondence between what happens in our natural environment and how it's related in our cosmic environment. So having said that, there's no reason for you to feel that astrology is uh, in conflict with anything that you hold to believe in terms of a religious faith. Okay, having said all that, the second part of our name is the astrology of I am. And that is on purpose because we want you to know that this is about who you are as an individual. And astrology is able to describe who you are as a unique being in earth. And there is another scriptural reference to I am, which is important here because there was a story of the great uh, prophet and leader Moses who went up to a mountain and God spoke to him. And after he got the message, he said, well, who shall I say sent me? And the burning bush proclaimed, tell them I am that I am. And so we use that as a part of our message because it is about you, who you are as a unique individual. And the I am is timeless. It's not I was, it's not I will be, it's not I could be someday, it's I am. I am what I am. I am not yesterday. I'm not yet tomorrow. I am this that I am. Okay. That's our foundation. That's how we come to this. That's how we approach this philosophically. But it's grounded in observable facts in reality. The only reason astrologers exist and the reason why you probably are fascinated too with it is because many of the things that astrologers are able to interpret actually come true and you can see them. You can see the effects of the things that they talk about, right? So there's no mystery. It's not a lot of magic. It's just observing the connections, synchronicity, the as above, so below, the within is as the without. Okay, that said, I've been doing this for a long time, so I have a lot of information to share with you that will be hopefully healing, hopefully giving you a greater connection to yourself. That's the whole purpose. We're gonna have fun. We're going to be uh, revealing things that you may not be aware of and that hopefully things that will help you grow and give you a sense of yourself and your connection to your fellow human beings. That's really, really important. Our goal is to help you connect to yourself at the deepest level. And when you do that, you automatically are able to connect with your human, your fellow humans and, and the world around you. And that's priceless, that's precious. I always like to depart with the Sanskrit word namaste. And that is a, a word that just simply means the spirit in me acknowledges and, and honors the spirit in you. Thank you and namaste.